We're here today with a very special guest in our studios, Kathy Turner, who uh, is known not only in Rochester, New York, but worldwide, and also attended a very special school, East High. And Kathy, what year did you graduate from East High? Can uh, I ask you? 1979. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> did you get that? A while back, yes, I see. 1979. And, that was uh, a year ahead, so. Oh, I see, yeah. And tell us about some of your experiences at East High School. <sighs> Where do I begin? Um, <laughs> I just, I, I love the school because it all had so much to offer. Mm -hmm. And I was able to do sports, I was able to act in plays, I was also um, very big in the music department mm -hmm. as a singer and I played flute and so that, that to me was what I remember. I could just do anything, yeah. you know, and I was into languages, that sort of thing. That's right. I believe you were even in the French club at one time I as was. well. That's right. And uh, you also had some time for the sport that you entered later on, speed skating. Yes. Uh, how were you able to do that in high school, or how did you uh, practice that in high school while you were uh, still doing your studies? That was pretty difficult. Um, I started when I was like six years old, so it was long before that. But by the, t by the time I was in high school, um, I was already on the road a lot. I was traveling every weekend. And if I wanted to think Olympics, I actually had to start leaving for months at a time. Mm -hmm. And it just was at times during my school year. So um, that's basically what I would do. I would just um, take my studies with me. And uh, fortunately, I was a year ahead going into high school. So um, I had something to fall back on if I needed to. I see. And the teachers uh, and Principal Kehoe, um, everybody was just so supportive of me and, uh, you know, they would let me take my tests at other scheduled times and, and it just worked out really well. So. Uh -huh. so you had that base of support at East High School that Absolutely. carried with you from time to time. Yes. Uh, go back a little bit before East High School. You attended uh, an <laughs> elementary school that uh, you uh, started with uh, skating with... Uh, your grandfather and father back in those days. Talk about that. I think the first school I went to was 28 on Humboldt Street. Okay. And I believe it was the new school, the new 28. Mm -hmm. And then we, then I went to 33 and 11 on uh, Bay. Bay and uh, yeah. Remember. Bay Road. And there's a little skating rink right next door, Webster Park, and mm -hmm. that's where I started skating. That's uh, right. Not necessarily because I went to that school, but because I lived in the neighborhood and. Uh, I had just gotten a new pair of figure skates for Christmas. Mm -hmm. and I thought, woohoo, new sport. <laughs> Gotta oh, definitely. check it out. That's right. And when I had gotten to the rink, they wouldn't let me out on the rink because there was a speed skating session going on. And speed mm -hmm. skating was very big back then mm -hmm. in Rochester. So I was crying, and then my dad ran into the, one of the coaches um, there, and he, he worked with this gentleman, and, mm -hmm. and he said, oh, come on, we'll get her on, you know. And they said, just stay in the middle now. Just stay in the middle and mm -hmm. just, you know, don't go too fast or whatever. So meanwhile, I'm trying to race everybody, and they kind of saw that that's kind of, you know, that would be better fit. That would better suit me. So mm -hmm. I had uh, gotten speed skates about a week later and started, uh, uh, I remember I won my first blue ribbon. Oh, that must have been a big oh, thrill for gosh. you. Oh, my gosh. A have been. blue ribbon, mm -hmm. and it was in a novice competition, uh, city championships, but novice competition, whatever. And uh, all of a sudden, I was a somebody. Mm -hmm. And I remember taking that ribbon to school and wearing it. And uh, ever since then, it made me want to, you know, keep mm -hmm. going and, and do the sport even more. Uh, and that's basically what happened. I started to go out of town to competitions out of town, and I started winning. Right. Uh, there was another sport that helped you in speed skating at East High. Was it swimming? It, no, not necessarily swimming, but I was a diver. Okay. I actually did just about every sport yeah, there until right. they came up with this rule, basically, Kathy, you can't try out for a sport unless you're going to really do it. Oh, I see. <laughs> but, uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I was in, involved in track. Sure. I was actually one of the first girls ever on the cross-country team. Mm -hmm. It was just myself and another girl, and uh, we pretty much started women's cross-country uh, back then. Sure. And, um, Up at Cobbs Hill, probably. Right. Some of the meets. We would right. run like seven miles a day, and that was part of the training for my skating. That's amazing. So, and of course, track and field. You know, I did all the events there, um, and that helped out as well. Uh, indoor track, um, you know, and diving. Diving not necessarily mm -hmm. helped my legs any, but it was a lot of fun. That's right. Uh, at East High School, you had uh, something to do with uh, music and singing. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, I come from a pretty musical family. Actually, uh, my 
most of my family's been involved in music in one way or another. Dick Sampson, he was my uncle. He was pretty famous around here. Sure. He also went to East High, as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. um, a famous bass player. But uh, I, I think just when I went to East High, I followed my mother's footsteps and took up flute. And I never practiced, but mm -hmm. took up flute. And, um, but I started realizing I enjoyed singing. And in doing that, uh, I remember Mr. Fleming, um, at the time, he really encouraged me and helped me. And I, mm -hmm. uh, I started, I became all county. I went to all county, and I, then I went to all state. And oh, uh, that right. was a very big deal, because you had to qualify for that. And, um, you know, I got to go to New York City and Oh, and that was an amazing experience. It, it was just amazing. Yeah, definitely. So, and you carried that singing with you after high school, is that correct? I did. And tell us about that. Well, I kind of changed the style a little bit. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> I mean, I was doing these these grade six ariettas in high school and then I went to kind of from that to like being a pop singer. <laughs> yeah. So, um, however, I did, I've, I've dabbled in every style, so. Yeah, that's good. Um, speed skating took a little bit of a pause while you were doing the singing and then um, a little later on in your mid-20s, uh, that's when you really got back into speed skating uh, events again, is that correct? Yes, I, I stopped skating when I was about 17 mm -hmm. um, and basically for a music career and started singing in bands and then um, kind of got recognized, if you will, or whatever, discovered mm -hmm. right. in the local area and I started doing jingles and traveling and doing commercials, acting, uh -huh. that sort of thing. And, um, and I started writing my own music. But right when I had done that is when I decided to skate again. So basically, I just put everything on hold. Right. And, uh, but in the meantime, I was away from my sport for a good almost nine years. Mm -hmm. uh, was that an obstacle to you when uh, you got back into it, let's say at about age 26? <laughs> well. Or did others think it was an obstacle and you thought it was no big deal? Well, I remember, um, you know, I remember when I first started again, I went to the University of Calgary. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just decided, wow, this is what I want to do. This is me. I can do this, Mom. Mm -hmm. and, and she said, maybe that's what you should do. Go mm -hmm. for it, you know. Right. One week later, showed up, had no skates, completely out of shape. Uh -huh. Had no money. I mean, yeah. just enough to get into a, to a, a semester of school. And uh, I remember walking by some of the other girls' rooms and hearing... <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it, so I was um, because they I were in their teens, and you were in your mid twenties, right? Mm -hmm. So I was pretty old for for that time. And uh, I, even Dan Jansen, I remember running into him, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we had been friends years ago before I'd quit. Mm -hmm. And because uh, I was on the national team when I was younger, mm -hmm. so he said, "Kathy Turner, what are you doing here?" And I said, "Dad, I I'm here to skate." That's he right. goes, "Oh, so you're here for the weekend?" Oh, I see. So it he just, didn't really take you seriously at Nobody that time. took me seriously. Yeah. I would call my friends and say, hey, I'm going to skate again, you guys. And they're like, oh, and you could just tell that they're in the back uh -huh. of their mind, they're like, why don't you just get a life or get a yeah. job or, right. you know. But I just knew what I was setting out to do. Mm -hmm. I was doing it for me. And, and I remembered to, that I loved to skate. And right. that's why I just got uh, pretty good quickly. Right. Once again, only three years to do it. So. And you were inspired also, I think, from some of the teachers at East High and the administrator, Mrs. Kehoe, uh, certainly supported you and uh, let you uh, have a schedule that could not only benefit you, but also benefit the country as well uh, in terms of uh, your yes. future prospects uh, from East High. Uh, now, I understand that you have won the most medals of any person in the Winter Olympics, at least uh, to a certain point, in 92 and 94, is that correct? I rank third for the most medals ever won. The third for the most. For and, U.S. Winter uh, Olympian, yes. Two gold, uh, one... Bronze and, and one, one silver. silver. right. right. Uh-huh. And uh, talk about the 92 Olympics. <gasps> wow. I mean, when I was a little girl, I used to stand on a chair like this mm -hmm. in my mom's, in my parents' bedroom and just, you know, put my arms up in the air and pretend crossing the finish line in slow motion and yeah. winning a gold medal because yeah. I'd seen it on television and people used to always say you're gonna go to Olympics someday and I'll be able to say I knew mm -hmm. her or I went right. to school with her or whatever and but when it actually happened I mean all of a sudden I wasn't standing on a chair I was standing on a podium That's right. and there wasn't a mirror in front of me there was the American flag uh -huh. you know going up and the national anthem was really being played. Mm -hmm. It was almost like you were it in was, a dream, right? Is right. That right. Yeah. It, it's just, and if you notice Olympians' faces when they're, when that's happening to them, yeah. they're just blank. Mm -hmm. And at first, for the first thirty seconds, you're like, why aren't they crying? Why aren't they? Why are they so 
emotionless. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because we just don't get it yet. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, that's right. Our ultimate dream just came true. Right. And you're, you're like, I was standing there going, oh my gosh, this is it. Oh, right. This is really it. That's this right. isn't a chair. And these are the things that go through your mind. And then, mm -hmm. and then halfway through the American anthem, you start to realize, and then you, a shudder comes over you and the tears start mm -hmm. to come. Yeah. And then the song's over. You're like, could you play that one more time, please? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. One more time. Just for the, now that I can just, really yes, enjoy exactly. it. Yes, exactly. Right. It's like yeah. over like that. Yeah. And, of course, so. you can always play the tape back over and over again, too. Well, to you do, it, but, but it's, it's like watching somebody else. Ah, I it's, see. Uh -huh. It's still, and I did it twice even. It's still like That's very right. unbelievable. And in 1994 also. Right. Uh, now, let's see, 92's Olympic was? Albertville, France. That's right. And then um, where was it in 94 again? Lillehammer, Norway. Norway, right. Uh, did uh, you find any of the um, changes in venue uh, affecting your performance in any way or no uh, if you if you take time out of your focus mm -hmm. <laughs> to worry about other things and uh, you're just not going to win mm -hmm. and I trained really hard with a sports psychologist and um, I did my Im imagery every single night to the point mm -hmm. where I would wake up and sweat with my legs moving mm -hmm. I had to race and I had to do it quickly because I was so ready to do mm -hmm. it right and uh, you know it was yeah. starting to my sleep was being altered, you know. Incredible. So. Yeah, that's right. Uh, think back about uh, your experiences at East High School, and uh, can you think of anything while you were at the 1801 East Main Street facility uh, that uh, could have helped you, let's say, in your Olympic uh, quest? Well, 